University of Tsukuba, and I'll be working in the lesson study project as a project, project oversee since the year 2006. And uh, I, I began my career as a high school teacher and the junior high school teacher, and then I moved to the university. On that career, I have so many experience with the lesson study, and in Japanese, I published more almost 30 books for the lesson study guidebook. And in English, I have some uh, articles. At the end, I will explain the re my reference. Okay, so today I will talk about what is lesson study. But, and uh, my major topic is the case of professional development and school-based lesson study for school-based lesson study communities. So many cases, uh, lesson studies are mentioned as for the professional development and the lesson study communities. Okay? However, at the beginning, I would like to talk about various functions of lesson study at first. Okay? This is a result of the APEC lesson study project at the year 2008. On that project, we asked the participating economies as for the lesson study product, what do you are expected and what do you have done? And this is a percentage, okay? For developing teaching approaches, 93% economies. And as a part of curriculum implementation, 80%. And the curriculum improvement on the APEC lesson study project, year 2008, we asked the participating, the, the delegate from the participating economies, how the lesson study is functioning, okay? On that question, there are several answers. And one of the answers is developing innovative teaching approach. And the, one of the answers is as a part of curriculum implementation and curriculum improvement and sharing teaching approaches, developing teachers, developing students, okay? Those items are more, have, the more than, have the more than 80%. Most of the countries already engaging in this kind of project using the methodology for the lesson study. On the other hand, developing theory of teaching, developing theory of education, half of countries are engaging in, but half of countries did not recognize the lesson studies as a methodology for the developing teach, theory for teaching. Okay. This is the result of the year 2008. And next slide. And I just would like to explain the various meaning of the lesson study. Okay, you saw the class now. On this slide, this is a class of science. And the student engaging in the experiment in related with the electricity. And the more than number of students Huge number of the teachers are observing what they are doing, okay? And this is national level lesson study. And in the case of Japan, we have various types of lesson study. So many countries, and especially United States, introduced the lesson study as a school-based approach, okay? Every school engaging in the lesson study. Yes, in Japan, we are engaging in the lesson study, lesson study in every school. 
However, in Japan, most popular lesson study activity is this kind of national level or prefecture level huge large scale lesson study activities, open, large scale open class. Okay? And what are they doing? Okay? For the and uh, normally we don't we are usually engaging in the teaching mathematics in the classroom and uh, we dis explain that using this didactical triangle teacher children and subject matter and uh, lessons that are usually explained on the context from the teacher centered approach to the children centered approach okay And on that context, uh, lesson study is not necessary as a group because we can do it by ourselves. Okay? How can we meet? Why we can we have to meet? And why it is better to meet so many teachers? Okay? There are many participating teachers, and what they are doing is that they are thinking about their theory of education. In the case of Japan, theory is not for the researcher. Theory is usually, on the context of lesson study, theory is usually for the teachers. And the lesson study is usually done by the study SEIMA, special study SEIMA. And it is not as same as objective of the class. So when we write the lesson plan, in, it is normal that on the lesson plan we write the objective of the class. However, in the case of the lesson study activities, we should have the SEIMA of the lesson study. And the title of the lesson study is usually the same of the lesson study, not the content of teaching today. This is one of the major differences when we distinguish lesson study and ordinary practice for teaching. And lesson study usually engaging the challenges, but there are various meaning of the challenges. Okay. What is a lesson study? Okay, plan the C process. This is necessary component. However, okay, on the planning stage we collaborate. On the on the practice we collaborate. And C on the after the class post class discussions post-class discussion we discuss, okay? Then we have the collaborations, okay? But even if we do not have the collaboration, lesson studies are focused on the stuff done by the SEMA and the theories of education. And when we say theory of education, there are many, many misunderstandings. Theory of education is developed by teachers not by researchers. So this is not the researcher's theory of education. This is the teacher's theory of education. And uh, it includes various up teaching approaches for special content or general idea or general ways of teaching. And uh, lesson study usually develop learning community. Okay? Especially the principal and the, the supervisors who manage the lesson study activities, they usually enhance learning community. But in Japan, when we say learning community, normally it is the community of the subject, mathematics education community and science education community. We have the 
Teachers Society of Mathematics Education, and we have Teachers Society of Science Education. On that society, we do a lot of activities for producing the good examples for challenges, good model for challenges, and at the same time, we produce the theory for teaching in general, in special subject, okay? So, many discussion points we have. So, from now, I would like to explain how the theory of education for teachers and theory of education for researchers are different, okay? So, I usually ask that on this slide, on the, uh, please, answer this question, which are appropriate to explain the area formula of the trapezoid, okay? There are three figures, and which one are good, okay? Not necessarily one, okay? And on this question, I have a chance to have a lecture for math educators, and there are many hundred mass educators, more than hundred educators are there. And uh, please answer this question, okay? What to appropriate to explain the area formula of trapezoid, okay? There are three fingers, and which fingers do you use, okay? Such a question. And this is a question for teachers, normally. And I ask this question to mass educators. And uh, for explaining the positions of our mindset, mass educator usually use some, so many cases we use, constructivism, okay? I usually prefer the approach, likely constructivism, okay? We say something like that. And on that, I have a chance to have a lecture for the hundred, more than 100 math educators. I give this task and ask them, answer the, I prefer some of these figures, okay? And half of math educators participating, they have PhD, and they prefer C. C is good to formula, produce the formula by the rectang, the, by the, the formula of trapezoid, by the formula of rectangular, okay? C is good for, for produce the formula of rectangular by the formula of rectangular, okay? It looks like fine, however, it is not easy to explain the area formula of trapezoid using the area formula of rectangular, okay? And in Japan, who usually use textbook, there are two or three types of answers, okay? All ABC are appropriate, okay? There are such a teachers exist. And uh, A and B are appropriate because, okay, all appropriate, however, if we compare A and B with C, A and B is better, and if for using C, we have to use the idea of A, such a discussion. Okay. For actually, normally, for explaining the area formula, we use the figure A and B. So, mass educators, how of mass educators choose C? Why? What I understand is that they have never had opportunity to explain the area formula of C. Yeah, it is correct. 
I'm a math educator and I don't have a chance to explain those formula so many years. Okay? So what is the difference? Okay? Construct, if, even if we say I am a constructivist, we are not sure how to teach. This is the real situation. So the theory of teaching, theory, educational theory for teachers and educational theory for researchers are not the same. And uh, when we say student-centered approach, we usually deny teacher-centered approach. It's usually including the injunction, ways of teaching. Teacher have a lecture, teacher shows the examples and solutions, and explain, and the student have practice, student engaging in the practice, okay? On that teaching approach, usually denied, however, we are not sure if we, how, what kind of appro approach we have. Uh, and even if we can use this example, there are several approaches. A, B, C, all examples may be useful. Such approach exists. On the other hand, dialectic approach, in the case of dialectic approach, A, B, idea of A and idea of B can be used everywhere in general. On the other hand, C is only possible in the, ca in the special case, okay? So from C, we cannot explain general ideas. Such a discussion, including in this content, okay? So depending on what we want to teach, what shall we teach depending on the objective of the teaching? We can choose a different style of teaching approach. Because depending on the ways of the process of teaching, our teaching content are different. Okay? And the lesson studies are usually very much different. School-based lesson studies are usually oriented to the problem-solving approach in the case of Japan. On the other hand, content-based problem-solving approach or con oh, no, sorry. On the other hand, in the teachers' professional communities in specialized in the, the mathematics, on that communities, we usually trying to implement dialectic approach. Okay. Because the discussions, quality of discussion is more mathematic, mathematically more higher.